What's up guys, it's Matt and my refrigerator is not getting cold anymore. And if this is happening to you, even if yours isn't a Whirlpool like mine, there's a real common thing that could be causing it and it's cheap, easy to fix yourself. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so here's the back of my refrigerator at the bottom. I've already pulled off the cardboard that goes over here. It was just a couple little um, quarter inch uh, screws holding that on. At four of them is what I had in mind. So just pop the back off and you can see right here is my compressor. And you see the fans running over there. But you could, what you're going to do is listen for the compressor to be running. It should be humming right now and vibrating. Like you, you, you can hear it's running uh, usually. I can hear mine's not, and instead of running, I keep hearing this clicking every so often, probably every 30 seconds or so, you'll hear it in just a moment. Um, it's gonna click and try to start the compressor, and that's how I know that's probably my problem. Um, one thing you wanna do while you're in here is make sure your coils are all cleaned off, and you can see it's dirty under here, but my coils are actually pretty clean. There's the clicking, did you hear it? Hopefully you did. Um, there it goes again, some more clicking. So that's the start relay trying to start the compressor and it's not starting so I'm gonna check my start relay to see if it's bad now so the first thing I'm gonna do and what you're gonna to want to do is unplug this refrigerator before you start working on it all right so my start relay is just behind this black panel here this plastic mine's got this little tab on top you pull up pops right off flathead screwdriver it's pretty much the only tool you're gonna to need for this other than getting those uh, screws up to get the back off of this plastic piece out of there all right and my start relay is this brown little piece here it's plugged in there I'm just gonna wiggle it out it's just got two prongs like a plug-in but they can be kind of tight and actually you can use your flathead to give you a little hand here but you're just gonna slowly work it out just like that it's got one wire hooked to it on a little prong there and I can already tell mine's bad, and I'll tell you why. Let me pull this wire off. I'm just gonna pull it off the prong, and you might take pictures of everything the way it's set up, and as you get it out, so you know exactly how it goes back together. That always helps me. But I'm gonna pull that off, and look at this. You hear that, that rattle? It's broken inside. That's a, that's a surefire sign. And so the, mine's got a part number on it. There's my part number, and um, you can get one of these on Amazon for about $8 if you don't mind waiting for Amazon to deliver it. Locally, I found one it was like $50, so I just waited for Amazon. And I've already got my new one here. And as you can see, and here, no rattling. It should not be rattling like that. That's a surefire fire sign that my start relay is bad. So, what I'm going to do is put that one wire back on there on the new one. Pop this thing. And you can see, let me show you here before I put it back on, there's two holes there for the prongs to go into. That's how it plugs into the side of the compressor. Just like this. Line those two holes up. Just kind of work it back in gently the way you got it off. Don't break it trying to force it on there. Kind of work it in there. It's going to take a little bit of force. There you go. New one's back on. I'm going to put this plastic covering back over it. The two little wires come out of this little side here. Yeah. Get in there. And then this just pops back on really easy like. Just got to get lined up the way it's supposed to go. And boom. It's all back together. Now you do is plug your refrigerator back in, see if it kicks on your compressor and starts humming. Let's try that now. All right. Immediately I can hear it humming. Hopefully you guys can hear that too. You also hear the fan kick on, so you're hearing part of that, but you can hear this thing start up and vibrate and hum. It's real low. 
but you can hear this thing is actually running that clicking has stopped and it's working correctly fix done hopefully this helps you guys hopefully you guys can get yours fixed easily and cheaply and not have to replace it or call a professional this is totally a do-it-yourself job and if this helped you give me a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one peace